about it uh, in her new book, Culture of Corruption, Obama and His uh, cheat, Tax Cheats, Crooks and Cronies. Michelle, welcome to the program. Glad to be back. Let's it is um, amazing to me how it is relatively easy to unravel. Once you know what's going on, oh my gosh, the thread just starts to come out. You write about it in Acorn, about Acorn, what are the two chapters on Acorn in your book, right? And the, and the SEIU, right? Okay, so tell me a little bit about, um, tell me a little bit about um, uh, the idea and the philosophy of being a community organizer and remaking America. What does that mean to Barack Obama? Well, you, you did a fabulous job of laying out on a theoretical level uh, what the agenda is in terms of transformation. But in order to implement that transformation, of course, you need a civilian core and you need uh, a brigade of foot soldiers implanted in neighborhoods across the city uh, who are at the beck and call uh, of the team of Team Obama um, to you know whether it's uh, shaking down banks, um, uh, forming a housing entitlement mob, um, fostering a voter fraud uh, and uh, uh, census um, shenanigans. Um, even, you need the bodies. All right, and even um, SCIU. SEIU, here's this, here's this union that most people don't even know what that union even does, and they're shaping, they're the ones leading the way on um, health care. That's absolutely right. You've, what you've got is a uh, union that has remade itself in the 21st century uh, to recruit the next generation of Democrat and hard left foot soldiers. Mm -hmm. And of course, these two, as you've documented and I've documented in the book and on all my blogs, those two organizations, ACORN and the SEIU, are intimately and inextricably linked. Um, oh, yeah. And because there's so much uh, union dues money and taxpayer dues money involved, it behooves uh, the uh, watchdogs uh, in Congress to, to take a look at what exactly is going on. You know, I have to tell you, Michelle, I said on my radio show yesterday, um, you know, you just use watchdogs in Congress. They're not watchdogs anymore. They're not watchdogs anymore. <laughs> they're, they're really not. Um, it, 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 it falls to the people. It always has fall, fallen to the people. But I, I asked, I said, between the radio audience and the TV audience, I got about 10 million guard dogs. We need people who understand the Constitution and understand this theory of remaking America, the fundamental transformation, to stand guard and watch them every step of the way. Guard and bark and growl and do whatever you have to do because these people are hijacking our country. No question about it. Um, that's what compelled me to write the book as a, a watchdog and I think um, that by doing our jobs we're modeling what should be done. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. And for people who think that it's completely hopeless and you can't hold, uh, for example, the shadow government uh, accountable, well, Steve Ratner is no longer the auto czar. And if you can get rid of one, you can get rid of 44. But it takes understanding the Chicago way, it takes understanding these relationships, and it takes recognizing the fact that there are whistleblowers in these organizations yes. at ACORN and at the SEIU. These are not conservatives, or they weren't conservatives right. until they had buyer's remorse yeah. and, and did wake up. Uh, it means, you know, taking them at their word, taking in the information they have, they're circumventing the mainstream media to How get how important, how important is it, do you think, because I, I, I've met with some of the Acorn whistleblowers. I think they're some of the bravest people in the world so because they're not, they're, not, they're not media savvy. Um, they know that they're taking on a powerful organization that understands the destructive politics, um, and they're just willing to do it because it's right. And it goes against their agenda, what, what people would perceive as their agenda. It goes against their people, their party, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what, do you, what do you think when you um, look at these organizations um, it, do you do you think that the, it makes any difference if you take down Acorn? Because I think they're so it is so vast um, these organizations, and they, it's a shell game. They just move people from here and rename it here and move it over there. You really have to go to the heart of it, do you not? Uh, it does matter if you take it down, and you need congressional oversight to crack open the books. Um, I dedicated the book to the whistleblowers, and one of the whistleblowers I talk about is now being sued by Project Vote and ACORN, Anita Moncrief. This is somebody who is just an individual. She's not a part of any uh, group that's trying to reform ACORN in, in its own image for its own power grab. Um, she's out there alone, and people ask what they can do. 
support people like that who are right. trying to get the information out there um, because they understand the, the nature of the racket, that it is a criminal enterprise. And you're seeing more, at least on the Republican side, people understanding that. The House Oversight mm -hmm. Committee Republicans came out with this report, and it only scratches the surface. Oh, it does. It's not just the financial industry. It's not just housing. Uh, you know, it's the fact that these people are joined at the hip with Democrat organizations mm -hmm. to ensure a power grab in perpetuity. Okay. Michelle, thank you very much. America, I, I, I have to tell you, and I have no reason to say this because this book is going to knock mine off uh, the number one slot. Um, this is important. I don't read um, uh, other people's um, uh, books when it comes to their political uh, thoughts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I just don't read them. Um, this one is worth reading. You should read it. It really under, uh, um, um, exposes a lot of the stuff that we talk about here, and it's important that you understand those things. Michelle, thank you very much. Thanks, Glenn. Appreciate it. Take care.